start. Hello friends, my name Dr. Manish R. Pandya. Today in the era of IPL that is 2020, let us talk 20 till 20. Pregnancy is a joyful event and every woman has got one dream to become pregnant. When she is unable to become pregnant for one year of unprotected intercourse, we term it as a primary infertility. We all know that we all are born from one chromosome from our mother, that is either XX or one chromosome from our father, that is X and Y. If you see, XX is more grounded. So that's why women are very much grounded on the earth. But XY, Y has got only one limb. So male has got all the dominance to become a act like a pendulum, joke apart. So, whenever she become pregnant, there is a release of ovum from the ovary. That ovum is engulfed by fimbria and it enters into the garden of ampulla to meet a handsome sperm which is released in the posterior phonic of the cervix, coming into the cervical part, into the endometrium, into the intramural part of the tube to reach that beautiful ovum. Life is like a race, like three idiots. So, one ovum is fertilized by single sperm. Ovum is unigamous. Whenever the ovum enter, one sperm enters into the ovum, it's shut down. Then there is a binary fusion. Two cell, four cell, eight cell, sixteen cell, thirty-two cell is morula. And at the level of blastocyst, we are going to implant into the endometrium. At that time, the blastocyst is dropping into the endometrial ocean at the maximum implantation potential point. We are implanting our cell by eroding the endometrium of our mother. That is syncytotropoblast and cytotropoblast. Syncytotropoblast is phagocytic activity. It will erode the endometrium and we are putting our cell into the endometrium. Syncytotropoblast making chorionic villi. The condensation of chorionic villi become chorionic frondosum. Condensation of chorionic frondosum become cotyledon. And condensation of cotyledon become placenta. And we have to thank Almighty that this placenta has generated enough amount of progestogen to nurture our cell in utero. Professor Howard Carr has mentioned in his literature in a randomized control trial that whenever there is insufficient activity of progestogen, there are recurrent pregnancy loss. If there is insufficient progestogen in early pregnancy, there are threat of abortion also. Sometimes the uterus consider sperm as an antigen. In this COVID era, we all know antigen-antibody reaction. Even a common man talks about antigen and antibody. Whenever antigen enters in our body, there is T cell and B cell activation. There are two types of pathways, Th1 pathway and Th2 pathway. When there is activation of Th1 pathway, that is inflammatory pathway. It makes with symmetrical antibody, increase in the natural killer cell activity, increase in the cytokines, that is interleukin 2, they are destructive. So, whenever this type of pathway is active, there is abortion of the fetus. But if this thing is going to happen in utero, nobody on this earth is alive. That's why God has given an immunomodulatory pathway, that is Th2 pathway, that is anti-inflammatory pathway. In our body, when there is activation of anti-inflammatory pathway, there is production of protective cytokines, like interleukin 4, decrease in the natural killer cell activity, and there is formation of asymmetric antibody. This is not just like lock and key. With that, there is activation of PIBF, that is progesterone induced blocking factor. That blocking factor is giving inhibition to the Th1 cytokines and there is activation of Th2 cytokines, that is anti-inflammatory and we are implanting our cell into the endometrium. What we mean by threat and abortion? When there is threat, just bleeding, cervical os is closed. There is fetal heart is positive and growing embryo we can see in utero. At that time, if we give 40 milligram of didrogesterone instantly followed by 20 milligram of didrogesterone, still bleeding stops. Literature says if we give this type of regime, we can save at least 47 percentage of women going from threat to complete abortion. So, we can save this 47 percentage of women by giving enough amount of progesterone that is 40 milligram state and 20 milligram till 20 week. If we think about recurrent pregnancy loss, nowadays it means that if there is a recurrent pregnancy loss, we have to nurture this pregnancy up to 20 week of gestation. The doses of didrogesterone for recurrent pregnancy loss 
is 20 mg of didrogestrone till 20 week of gestation. Thank you very much. This is all about 20 till 20. Thank you.